please be seated at this time. I would like to please ask everyone to silence all cell phones at this time. And please join me by bowing our heads in a word of prayer. Lord God of all creation, we invite your presence to fill this place as we celebrate the accomplishments of these graduates. We ask for your almighty hand to be upon all those who are graduating, their families who have encouraged them, their instructors who have prepared them, and their friends who are here to support them. Bless this ceremony with your goodness and grace, and it is in your name that we pray, amen. Good morning, everyone. I want to welcome you to this special graduation ceremony. We are delighted that you are here to celebrate with us for this exciting event. Those gathered in the audience should know that these graduates earned their credentials at the best community college in America. <laughs> Let me now introduce those seated on the stage behind me. Stand as I call your name, and please hold your applause until the entire platform party has been introduced. Beginning on my right, Dr. David Kim, Vice President for Technology and Chief Information Officer. Mr. Michael Moss, Vice President for Finance and Administrative Services. Dr. Marsha Constan, Vice President of Enrollment and Student Services. Mr. Richard Zollinger, Vice President for Learning and Workforce Development, and Dr. Candy Dietemeyer, the new CPCC President. And on my immediate left, Maureen Palmer, CPCC Chaplain, Mr. Sidi Njai, Student Government Association President, Dr. Tracy Clark, Executive Assistant to the President, Dr. Kevin McCarthy, Vice President of Institutional Advancement, Mr. Jeff Lorenz, Public Information Officer and Assistant to the President, and Ms. Kathy Rummage, Executive Director of Communications. You may be seated. I'd also like to recognize the dedicated and wonderful faculty and staff of College and Career Readiness who are seated in the two rows in the front and scattered throughout the Coliseum volunteering to make this a special event. Thank you all, I love you. Jo Please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Good morning. I'm proud to introduce to you uh, Dr. Candy Diedemeyer, who became the fourth president of Central Piedmont Community College in January of this year. Dr. Diedemeyer came to CPCC with an extensive and diverse background in community college administration. Her career has spanned over 24 years in higher education, with 22 of those serving in community college systems in North Carolina, Kentucky, and Florida. Dr. Diedemeyer's pathway to success began at Polk Community College in Florida, where she graduated with an Associates of Arts degree. From there, she went on to earn a bachelor's degree in mass communication and public relations, a master's degree in counselor education, and a doctorate in educational leadership from the University of South Florida. At C 
as CPC's top executive, she demonstrates the drive, talent, and passion for its mission. Her principal leadership tenet is student success and transforming and improvement of student lives. She brings to CPC a demonstrated focus on excellence, regional development, and building collaborative relationships with impact opportunities for students and community college. Please help me welcome the president of your community college, Dr. Candy Diedemeyer. Good morning. For graduation day, that was kind of a little, let's try that again, should we? Good morning. Well, uh, it is really my pleasure to serve as president of Central Piedmont Community College and graduates. I want to be the first to congratulate you. Are you excited to be here this morning? Let's try that one more time. Are you, ex are you guys awake? Are you excited to be here this morning? Well, you have, not, you have not reached this milestone alone. I know that you know that. And you have some important people in your lives who've helped you along in this journey. So please first give a round of applause as you did earlier to the CPCC faculty. I would hope you would agree the best in the nation. Yes? Well, your family has also provided you support during this journey and a lot of encouragement, I know. And I see many of them to my right and left. So would you like an opportunity to express your thanks to them? Because I know you wouldn't be seated here this morning. So stand up, find your family, and give them a little expression of your thanks. Well, you're going to hear me talk a lot about, um, you're going to hear me talk in just a few minutes a lot about what it means to make a change in your life and to be on a journey. But I met two special ladies this morning, and I would be remiss without pointing them out. As I was circling the arena this morning, trying to find out exactly what to do as the new president, I met two ladies, Amelia Dawson, Amelia Dawson and Denise Capers, who are seated over here to my right. Raise your hand, ladies. These young ladies arrived uh, probably as ear earlier than I did this morning and found these precious seats in order to be here on behalf of Sarah Dawson Fulwiley. And so thank you for finding the best seats in the house and for being here so early. I know how proud they are of Sarah this morning. So Sarah, where are you? Sarah, where are you? Congratulations, your family loves you, absolutely. So before I share a few remarks with you this afternoon, this morning, um, I do want to point out, it's hard to pick great student stories to share, but we like to do that because each one of you have a story. But this morning, I want to talk just about a few, if I can. I want to talk about the success and accomplishment of Joe Freeman. In August of 2015, Joseph Freeman had a liver transplant. This procedure not only saved his life, but it also gave him a second chance to make the most of his future. With a new outlook on life, he signed up for CPCC classes to get his high school diploma in August of 2016. The eight-week sessions were tough, and though they were tough, with an organ transplant, you can imagine, your immune system is not strong, Joe was sick over the fall and winter months, forcing him to miss class. However, he was always proactive, I hear. When he was absent from class, Joe reached out to his instructors, Rick Farah and Annie Barron, to make up the work he missed. Everyone worked together to help Joe overcome his barriers. And with all of Joe's efforts, he was able to earn his high school equivalency diploma. He was also able to enroll in the Pathways program and will start his integrated computer machining classes this fall. I also want to talk about the success of Diana Esteban Gonzalez. Diana set a goal for herself to pass the high set math test after taking a math class in the first session of the spring. 
Because this involves studying some topics independently, she requested additional test prep materials and invested time to study them, staying after class to ask, I'm sure, many questions. Because of her hard work, she not only passed the high set math test, remember that goal I told you she'd set, but she did so with a high enough score to signify college and career readiness. Let's also talk about Vicki Hunter for just a minute. Vicki started her, general, her journey with Central Piedmont Community College in 2009. And over the course of the years, she has overcome many adversities, which kept her from attending class. Nevertheless, she too was determined to erase the negativity by enrolling in Central Piedmont Community College to complete her education and make a better way of life for herself. Each day, she started feeling better and better about herself and her abilities. Through hard work and determination, Vicki is one of the top graduates of the High Set Equivalency Diploma Program. Joe, Diana, Vicki, would you please stand so that we can recognize you and acknowledge these terrific accomplishments? Again, always hard to pick out a few. Joe, Diana, and Vicki are three of the 136 students we are celebrating this morning. I said 136. I think we should applaud that one more time. So graduates, I want to take just a few minutes to congratulate you as president of Central Piedmont. So first of all, congratulations on your achievements by graduating today. And secondly, let me commend you for embracing change. I can't imagine that any of you arrived at the college and just said, I think I'll try this out. Anybody? No? So you came because you knew you needed to make a change in your life. You see, somewhere along the way in your journey, you determined that you needed a new path in your life, that you were determined to improve yourself, that you needed to set a course toward a better future. Yet rather than just setting those goals, you not only pursued them, but today you accomplished them. So let me encourage you to keep changing. You know, I've journeyed around a little bit in my career, and I always seem to pick up very special friends. And so as I was beginning to leave one of my former, former, former institutions, a good friend of mine gave me a little notepad. And on that notepad, it says, life without change is boring. So I keep it on my desk as a reminder, right by my computer screen, to remind me every day that life without change is boring. I see a few heads nodding. I'm grateful that I was willing to even change recently and come to Central Piedmont. So she gave me this little notepad as a token of affection as I was departing that college. And it was a loving reminder to me that we had endured a lot of personal and professional change during that season of our life. But however, daily, it continues to remind me to try to seek better, to never be complacent, and to give life my very best. Avoiding complacency requires change. And so I am grateful that you started with us because you knew that change and that life for you needed to be different and that this credential hopefully is just the first step. You see, I don't know about you, but I don't prescribe to that mantra about if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, I really like something else. There's an author by the name of David Cottrell and he says, I'm not trying to break it, I'm just trying to improve so that we realize our potential. You see, growth and success are optional. Did you hear me? Growth and success are optional, he says. And if we choose that option, then we have to change. So I know that you arrived because you wanted to grow. I know that you arrived because you wanted to be successful. And so you chose the option to change. So to say to you graduates that I'm grateful that you chose to change yourself would be a very big understatement. I'm grateful that you were willing to grab hold of your own improvement process. I'm really grateful that you chose Central Piedmont 
to tap into your unrealized potential so that together today and hopefully for years to come, we can celebrate your growth and your success. May you always be willing to change, to grow, even when things are not going to be easy, maybe sometimes when they are. It's not just when it's good or when it's bad that you need to change. You just need to keep changing to make positive changes in your life. So as we celebrate you today and your accomplishment, we celebrate the accomplishments not only of this day, but for each day to come. So my challenge to you, remember, I'm the president of one of the best community colleges or the greatest community college in our nation, so I should not stand before you today and let you kind of off the hook. Just because we are here today celebrating this, my challenge to you as president, if you have not already, to make the next step, hopefully here, and that you continue in your education, enroll in a CPCC program, because we want to continue to help you transform your life. Remember, we're in the business of helping you be different and to change. So hopefully you will do that and that you will continue to have an impact not only on yourself, but your family. So stay family focused, journey focused, and hopefully job focused. Make a decision today to continue to create a long-term plan for your success and that of your family. I hope you know just by meeting me today, many of you, that I truly do wish you the very best. Your success really is ours, and so how about we get on with it, shall we? Congratulations to you. Congratulations to your family. And I will see you as you cross the stage in just a minute. Thank you so much, Dr. Dina Meyer, for your inspiring words of encouragement and hope. And we too share your commitment to transforming lives, and we see that every day when we come to work. And as Dr. Dina Meyer illustrated, several of our students had to overcome a lot of struggles to be here today, but yet they persisted, and many of them excelled in their studies. As a result, they were inducted into the National Adult Education Honor Society, and they're wearing white tassels to signify that honor. Will those students please stand and be recognized? Thank you, you may be seated. In addition, we have several students who completed the Pathways to Careers program, CPCC's nationally recognized program for accelerating students through certificate programs leading to high demand occupations. These students participated in a rigorous set of academic and, <clears throat> and occupational training courses to earn certificates in office administration, early childhood education, housekeeping, construction, culinary, natural hair care, human services, bank telling, and commercial driver's license. Will those students please stand and be recognized? Thank you. And finally, we have several graduates of our new Work and Learn program, CPCC's comprehensive free education training and employment program for young adults made possible through a grant from Charlotte Works. Many of these graduates have earned their high school credential, participated in job shadowing and service learning projects, and completed occupational training while at the same time completing paid internships to prepare them for employment. Will those students please stand to be recognized as well? Will the candidates for graduation please rise?
by the authority vested in me by the governing board of Central Piedmont Community College, it is my pleasure, my absolute pleasure, to confer with all the honors and privileges appertaining thereto the appropriate high school credential upon these students who have successfully completed all requirements for graduation. Please be seated until the marshals instruct your rows to rise and come forward. Ladies and gentlemen, as the graduates prepare to cross the stage, I would like to offer a few suggestions to make sure that everyone receives the recognition they deserve. It's our desire that we recognize each graduate by name, so please make your applause brief so we can hear each name as it's called. Please be courteous to surrounding guests. If you move to take a photo, please do not block the view of those around you. And remember, after the ceremony, you will meet the graduates outside, so there will be many opportunities for photos there. Thank you. Pearl Williams. Sade Pridgen. Wanda Colson. Hannah Warzeka. Mark Fothery. Tammy Williams. Hyja Jones. Keith Bean. Chantel Chandler. Tony Ensenane. Hugo Martinez. Crystal Joseph. Sarah Dawson Fuwili. Patricia Burris Nash. Joycindra Powell. Magdalena Gonzalez Capiro. Guadalupe Salazar. Camille Morrow. Hermelinda Gallegos. Destiny Jordan. Roxana Morira. Christy Hernandez. Lauren Klitsch. Osamara Mahia Leal. Lakeisha Smith. Uwimana Wangaza. Shakia Smith. Carrie Brister. Ignacio Inzalaga Rodriguez. Nakea Anthony. Lenore Jordan. Imani Chrysler. Chantel Carter.
Elizabeth Calero. Edith Gonzalez. Miriam Hernandez Castillo. Emily Overstreet. Janelle Cheney. Brittany Alston. Brandy Price. Lonzel Fleming. Ernette Burroughs. Kayla Say. Janae Gray Crossman. Debbie Sanders. Brandon Jones. Denarian Brake. Kwamisha Jowers. Nadasia Price. Nadasia Price. Anita Perry. Jeremy Clore. Carolina Evora. Anna Benitez. Jean Hicks. Justice Smith. Legenia <laughs> Everett. Mahogany Trenton. Centalia Berry. Danielle Treadwell. Harrison Keen. Ashley Palacios. Dashawn Boyd. Lakeisha Rice. Rena Bonilla. Taryn Wallace. Angela Garlands. David Kalenkin. Naya Fontaine. Khadija Kreider. Khadija Kreider. Jamie Jones. Jessica Lima Marana. Katie Shea. <laughs> Tiffany Degree. Tira Vernon. Sean Fuller. Dominique Andujar. Tawanika McCoy. Thank you. Natasha Tate. Felicia Moffitt. Jolene. Karen Tron. Giovanni Nunez. Annabelle Ramos. Tava Bailey. Joanne Hunt. Tanisha Harris. Hannah Wise. Elizabeth Siepel. Lasagna Angel Pauling. Gabrielle Patterson. Shalika Lindsay. Alejandra Lopez Chaparro. 
Kiarna McKnight. Stephanie Miller. Ste Stephen Miller. Chelsea Presley. Chiquita Prince. Michelle Owens. Zier Massey. <laughs> Tawana Paul. Sharika Talford. David Burnett. Logan Milt. Joseph Freeman. Jacob Medina. Imelda Tornores. <laughs> Catherine Solano. Alicia Nava Hernandez. Tanay Manango. James Dragstrom. Jade Meanders. Vicky Hunter. Tierra McFall. Cody Wagner. Brian Maldano Flores. Alexander Taylor. Carlos Fonseca Galeno. Kenia Cabrera de Horton. Sasha McKinney. Uh, I got that there. Sibone Le Nayamonde. Malik Julius. David Harrison. Aaron Wally. Nancy Bautista. Maribel Hernandez. Diana Gonzalez Esteban. Roger Villanueva. Whitney Williams. Latasha Davis. <clears throat> Samira White. Griselda Rosales. Taquisha Chisholm. Noel Martinez Pachero. Celeste Mills. Star Asia Baskins. Dehug L. Kiera Freeman. Christopher Bethay. Sir Braun Thompson. Dear graduates, 
Dear graduates, as custom dictates, you may now move your tassel to the left side. And now please join me in congratulating this outstanding group. Congratulations. On behalf of CPCC family and our platform guests, I would like to thank Dr. Dita Meyer for her words of wisdom and encouragement. I'm sure our graduates will take what you said and use it as a stepping stone in their paths to successful future. Congratulations. Receive this blessing as you go out into the world, graduating class of 2017. May God's blessing follow you as you find new journeys to travel. May you walk safely along the pathways of your dreams. May God's gentle hand guide the decisions you will make and the passions that you follow. May you stay true to your dreams and use your gifts wisely. And now, beloved, walk in the future with hope, faith, and great love. Let us all greet you and congratulate you with a hearty amen.